Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we are going to see about an important architecture for databases, the three-tier architecture. Why waiting? Let's directly step into the topic of the day, the three-tier architecture. As the name says that there are three levels, three tiers. What are they? The first level is the client level. The second level is the application level or the web server level. And the third level is the database server level. So the client level is actually the GUI, the graphical user interface or web interface level. The application server level or the web server level deals with the application programs and web pages. And then the third level, the database server level, which deals with the actual database management system. Now you may be asking me a question, why do we need three tiers? Why not two tiers? Like simply client and server. So the traditional client server architecture involves two tiers, client and server. But when we talk about databases, the web pages, remote access, we certainly need three tiers. We will see that now. So when we talk about the three tier architecture, this is actually the predominant software architecture for the client server applications. Say for example, I want to do a fund transfer from my account to my friend's account. To do that, I need not go to the bank. Rather, I can simply open the internet banking page on my browser of my computer or I can use the banking app from my mobile to do the fund transfer. Whatsoever, the front end that we are interacting with the banking server, it may be a web interface when we access through a browser or if it is a mobile interface, the page that we are accessing on our mobile phone through the application, this is actually the first level or the first tier, the client tier. This is the top tier and all the business logic are done in the second tier that is the application level tier and the actual data storage is at the third tier the database tier which is the physical tier or the bottommost tier when we talk about distributed systems or remote access then three tier architecture is the predominant software architecture for client server applications and as the name suggests there are three logical and physical tiers we can see these three are the tiers and these tiers are logically and physically separated. And what's the advantage of having three tiers? Each tier runs on its own infrastructure. So this tier, the client tier or the web interface tier or the GUI tier will have its own infrastructure. Application server or web server will have its own infrastructure and the database tier will have its own infrastructure. And that's what this point says that each tier runs on its own infrastructure. And since they have their own infrastructure, these tiers can be developed simultaneously. So they are going to interact with each other. Of course, they can be developed simultaneously because each tier runs on its own infrastructure. At the same time, another advantage of having tiers is that these tiers can be scaled and updated individually. So I hope now you got the details about the three tiers. And we can also give names for these tiers as the presentation tier, which is the client tier, the application tier, which is the middle tier, and data tier, which is the bottommost tier, the physical storage of the database. And the main advantages of having all these tiers are the faster development because they have their own infrastructure and they can be developed simultaneously. And these tiers can also be scaled and updated. So we get improved scalability, reliability, and security. So we are done with the basics of three tier architecture. Let's see each tier one by one. Let's focus on the first tier. What's the first tier, the topmost tier? The client tier or the presentation tier. In other words, it is also called as the front end because the user is interacting with that tier, right? If you want to access your banking server, you may access from your browser or from your mobile app. So that's the front end. That's actually the tier that user is interacting with. And that's why this tier is called as front end. And as the name suggests, this is the top level tier where the user is going to interact with the application or the server. And what will be there in this tier? The user interface. Say so you may be accessing your data, which is actually stored in the database in a web interface or in a GUI environment. So simply it's an user interface. And that's what I told you in the example analogy. You may access your banking server from your mobile application or from a web browser. So in either cases, we need user interfaces, which is simply referred as UI. And this tier, we know this is the top tier and this is going to interact with the next tier, which is the application tier. 
and what's there in the application tier. We will see that in the next slide. So from this, what we are understanding is the top tier, the presentation tier or the client tier is interacting with the next tier, the application tier, where the business logic are implemented. And we know this is the user interface which collects and displays the information. Say, for example, if you want to see what's your account balance, obviously your balance is displayed on the presentation screen, right? It may be a mobile screen or it may be a web interface. So display is also done. At the same time, if you want to do fund transfer, from there you are giving the information like how much amount to which account to be transferred. So your presentation tier not only displays the data, it also collects the data. And that's why this tier deals with collecting and displaying of the information. And we also have desktop applications or even GUI for doing this. HTML, hypertext markup language, CSS, JavaScript, etc. So we can develop the front end application using these technologies. So we are done with the top level tier, the presentation tier or the front end or the client tier. The next tier that we are going to address is the application tier. We know basically there are three tiers and now we are going to focus on the second tier, the application server or the web server. And what's the job of this tier? We know the job of the front end is to collect and display the information where the logic is actually applied, the transaction logic. Say if you want to transfer fund from your account to your friend's account, that logic where it is implemented, it's actually implemented in the application level, that is the business logic level. So this level or this tier deals with the logic or the middleware tier activities. So this is the middleware tier. And actually this is the heart of the application because the business logic and the business rules and the information are processed in this tier only. At the same time, the business logic and the business rules are also implemented at this level. And we know this tier, the presentation tier deals with the collection and display of data, but the logic is actually applied here. In case the logic involves addition or deletion or updation of the data, all these needs to be done in the data tier where the data is actually stored in the database, which is the physical tier. So this tier is directly interacting with the bottommost tier, which is the physical tier or the data tier or simply the database server. And what are all the technologies that are there in this tier? Python, Java, Perl, PHP, Ruby, etc. Before we move on, we need to understand how this application tier interacts with the data tier. It's through the API calls. So the communication between the application tier and the data tier is through the API calls, the application programming interface calls. We know there are applications for doing all the activities that we wanted using these technologies and these technologies has built in API interfaces so that they can directly interact with the database server. So we are done with the second tier, the application server or web server tier. Let's now move on to the next tier, the bottommost tier, which is actually the database tier. And this subject is actually the database management system. And we are talking about this subject elaborately in this playlist and we are going to focus on what's happening in this tier. And we know the presentation tier is the front end and this is the application tier or the business logic or the business rules. And what about the last tier, the back end where the data are actually stored. So this is the back end tier or the back end level or simply the database server resides in this level. We have the physical database, the physical storage, everything in this tier only. So as the name suggests, this is the data tier or the database tier or simply the backend. And here only the data are actually stored and managed, which is actually the job of DBMS. And at the same time, this tier is having interaction with the application tier and not directly with the client or the presentation tier in a three tier architecture. In a two tier architecture, client or the presentation tier will directly communicate with the database tier or the backend because only two tiers are there. But in this case, we are talking about three tier architecture. So the communication between presentation tier and data tier are not directly possible. It is possible through the APIs of the application. And what are the software tools? We have the RDBMS and DBMS tools. RDBMS technologies like MySQL, MariaDB, Oracle, DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, etc. are RDBMS technologies. And coming to the DBMS technologies, the Cassandra, CouchDB, MongoDB, etc. are example technologies for DBMS. So we are done with all the three tiers. 
Before we sign out, let's see the generalized DBMS three tier architecture. So the name says that we have three tiers where we have the database at the physical level, the bottom most level. And this is called as the internal level because the data are actually stored at this level. And we have the business rules, the second level, which is the conceptual level. And we have the upper level or the top level, which is the user level or view level. We can see that user is going to interact with the database through this level only. And we have multiple views possible at this level. Don't worry about this now. In the next presentation, we are going to exclusively focus on the various view levels. I mean view of data. And that's it guys. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.